responsibility of a parent is to train up a child in the way he should go. The state has a much easier job of maintaining civility in society when parents lovingly discipline their children at a young age. One might say that parents oversee the manufacturing plant of a good society. They are God's um, first remedy in a fallen world, his intended means of curtailing evil in a nation. Rita Okoye is the founder of Raising Confident Girls Initiative, a movement with over 26,000 online members. And they have a clear vision. Every girl is confident. I said that right, right? <laughs> All right, so to join the conversation, Twitter us at Plus TV Africa or at Waze Show Africa One with the hashtag Waze. Or you SMS 081 80 384663. Um, SMS only. So thank you for joining us, Rita. You're welcome. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like your hair. Thank and all you. that. So my question is, um, you know about the child rights law. Okay. Do not all the states in Nigeria have domesticated that law okay. by the federal level, and I think about 24 states have it domesticated. Yeah. And when you go into that law, you will see that. Uh, the part of the laws that are that it's compulsory for every human right of every child, yeah. and the, what, what interests me most is that the bride, um, the child bride issue right. was um, tackled. Yeah. But now you're still going on with this child. Every girl must be confident and yeah. all that. This initiative. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to juxtapose it that why what, 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 why do we have a need for that? Well, I um, have been in this country for 11 years and I found that, you know, a lot of girls are not confident that we're in a male-dominated society and the focus on confidence a lot of the time was external. So, you know, being a lawyer or a doctor, but I was interested in building the confidence from inside out rather than just focusing on those things. So um, I just decided to form a foundation called Raising Confident Girls. So you feel there's a lacuna? You feel yes. that there's a gap. There's a gap. Regardless um, of the laws and all that. And the thing about it now is that because of the 21st century, there's a lot of peer pressure, especially on social media. Mm. I see a lot of girls that feel that they can't live up to the expectations of some of their friends because some of them are living the, you know, the Nigerian see. life and they're not. So there's a lot of pressure. I mean, last year we did a conference and we had some psychologists around telling us, I mean, something that has not happened in Nigeria before, like suicide, 20 it's years ago, that was, that was not you know, heard of. But now, because of the pressures of social media, and you're seeing girls and boys actually you know, falling So it's that. about building the character of a girl, not about the laws. No, it's not. Okay. It's about now building the character perfectly. of a okay. girl through the parents, yes. So um, you, you, know, you started raising confident girls. And yes. I know that you're a mother of both boys and girls. That's so right. is it fair to just then assume that the boys are already born confident, and then there's no work that needs to be done? Okay. Or is it uh, both ways, or you just chose to focus on girls because there's a bigger gap within that space or that gender? Okay. For me, because I'm a, a woman, I felt that I could connect more with girls, and that's why I set it up. But there is another movement called Raising Responsible Boys, which yeah, another yeah, sister great. friend of mine right. has set up, Laddie Chapman. So there is one for boys, but I'm oh, focused yeah. on All right. girls. So, so we had to put that background there. Yes. So what do you think? Since you started, because I hear you say you've done this for 11 years now. No, five years of raising. Five been in years. Nigeria. Yeah, you've been in, in Nigeria for, um, for 11 years. Yes. I want to go with the 11 years because right. I want to. And you started this initiative five years ago. That's right. So since you started this initiative, because we're talking the role of parenting when it comes to nation building. Yes. What has this impact? Raising confident girls. How yes. has it impacted in national development right. as we know it today? Okay. So there are three areas that we focus on in Raising Confident Girls, and one is the message. Because as you know, if you don't speak positively to your child about themselves or about the country, that is what the child is going to pick up. So even as in talking about nation building, if you keep saying things like Nigeria is bad, everybody is bad, that is what the child is going to carry on listening to until they're an adult. And then, you know, we're still getting that dialogue abroad. We hear it from, you know, people mentioning our country as being a shithole, but we don't have to, you know, mention those things. So we have to use positive affirmations to our children, not just in confidence, but in saying great things about our country. Another important thing for us at Raising Confident Girls is helping girls to see 
to sort of focus on a vision. What do you want to do? What do you, where, where do you see your country? So, you know, talking about things like that and also values, because values is another thing that has really, you know, gone down. Integrity, trust, all these things that, you know, when I was growing up, because I did spend a, a little bit of time in Nigeria when I was young. I went to secondary school here, and I feel that the values that we had then, you know, they've really gone downhill. So it's just bringing back those values to our awesome. girls. Awesome. So w do you have, like, parameters that you have y you are using to measure the impact? Because, you see, for us yeah. here at Waze, we just don't want to bring um, issues to the fore. We want to be able to measure. Yes. So we were here maybe right. in 2000 and let's say four, when we started, okay. 2019, yes. fast forward to 2019, mm. this is where we are yes. at now. Okay. But probably we have 15 more new CEOs that are female CEOs in right. a male-dominated, um, uh, recently, I think in um, Finland, right? That was the young girl that is... Prime Minister. The, the, so that is a measurement yes. to say, okay, yes, these are things that probably were not happening before, right. but now we're, because of the impact of raising, mm -hmm you know, girls that are confident. Yes. It, is, it has impacted in nation building. It has impacted in girls becoming more aware in policy yes. making. They're not just thinking, because you see, when we talk about raising confident girls, mm. there's something that happens, especially when I see, let me just digress a little bit. Okay. When I see a lot of people doing feminist movement yes. and all of those yes. things, sometimes I just, I chuckle. Right. Why I chuckle? Because mm. if you watch an advert, for instance, that is um, for uh, maybe food, um, like um, for food, okay. or it's maybe a, a dish, like Markle, okay. you know, <laughs> dish. Any advert you watch that yeah. you watch, you you watch that that has to do with anything domestic, yeah, okay, catered um, chores or whatever. Mm. It is always attributed to a woman. Right. So if you as uh, you're talking about this in um, raising yeah. a confident child, mm. why can't we start pushing? You know, that these kinds of ads yes. are shaping the minds of our girls That's right. to tell them that these ads are the only rules they can the only rule. So are we doing anything towards that line? So in our movement, we do take on different role models. So it's not just the woman washing. So yes. it's STEM, you know, people that are in engineering, females. So we're always showcasing role models, you know, that girls can... Um, associate themselves with yes. rather than the stereotypes. Yeah. Another thing that we also do is we do surveys. So we find out from our members, you know, and they give us testimonials about how our movement is impacting their girls. And another thing that we do is actually go, we go into the field. So we go to places where are deprived and we help pay with school fees. And sometimes we take the girls themselves too so that they can see that it's not just okay. talking. It's so easy to it stay on happen. social media and just have yeah. conversations, but to go out into the community and actually do things to help and help, you know, because because it's an initiative for girls, we do look for sponsoring of school fees for girls awesome. from deprived awesome. communities. Awesome. Awesome. So I'll take you back. You relocated from England in yes. 2008, right. and you know you've been in Nigeria for 11 years. That's right. Would you say um, what's your experience? So you know there's the increased uh, spate of knife crime in the UK, right. very prevalent among the teenage boys. Yes. And can you attribute that to the parenting style and based on your experience? Yes. And what's the difference between you know parenting in the UK, for instance, right. and in Nigeria? But one thing that I find here is that we still have respect, you know. Children still are, they, they're very respectful for parents. But in the UK, because of a lot of laws now, there's things that you can't do. Like you can't, you know, discipline your child with, with you know, whichever method. You have to just put them in a naughty corner and talk to them. But here, we still have those, you know, we still have those uh, rules of... Those ground know, rules. Yes, the traditional rules. So that helps a child to be more disciplined. And even my children, two of them that have gone back to the UK, they actually appreciate the African it's way of... But, there's, but we have to be careful, because that doesn't mean that we should call our children name, cause names, because sometimes here we can get carried away and start calling the child, you're stupid, you're foolish, and then that... Stays and you child. see, yes. <laughs> that's yeah, so interesting. Mm -hmm. But one thing I also wanted to say is that yeah. we, as parents, we have to model our behaviour because there's no point in me saying to my daughter, "Oh, be confident," if I'm not confident. Fair because fair. my daughter is going to, you know, emulate what I'm doing. If a child sees you on the road bribing somebody, then when they, you know, become a leader or whatever, they're going to, you know, get into Action that. Speaks you know, words, and, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And okay, so in summary, what you're saying is that. 
Parenting has to be deliberate. It has to be deliberate and intentional, yes. Okay, so you is. have to speak confidence to every girl child you do, you to do. achieve. You um, have to affirm, you have to tell her, you know, I'm not saying that all the time you have to say that she's great, but, you know, just be positive. Can I go a bit personal? So if I walk into your house now, <laughs> because into your home rather, right. you have boys, you have girls. How are you raising them? You know, especially when your boys know that mommy has an initiative that is raising confident yes. girls. Right. How do they take it, and how have they, you know, been coping with that? To because they yeah. know that you are not doing confident boys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How well, are you making them understand that I that has to be done? Yeah. It's values. I want them to realize that we're all human beings, that whether they're boys or girls, and that they have to treat their sister with respect, nice, just sweet. the way the father treats me. So there's a lot of modeling. You know, right. if I, if my, if me and my husband. Are not respectful to each other or my husband is shouting down at me all the time my boys are going to learn that type of behavior you know so it's a lot of the way we are with each other our children are watching us okay, okay. So, so, so what you're saying is that every parent must take out the role of modeling they must do okay. yes modeling and then another thing they should take out is mentorship too because oh, I was going that to is say that. yeah that is quite important and even if it's not direct mentorship if there are other people in the community that uh, you know are you're connected to they can also help your children and we do that a lot with our community like if we if we know somebody for example my daughter's interested in baking now so i know a friend that is you know she wants to do that as a side hustle so, so i have a friend friends yes friends. Okay. exactly you know so what's your take on girls right now because you mentioned something very 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 salient on mm. social media yes with the pressure right how do you think you know this confident initiative can actually help because I cannot see you flash a Lamborghini on Instagram right. and I begin to shaking. have high blood pressure. <laughs> That's right. I cannot have high blood pressure. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm. You know, because I was not trained, yes. I was not wired that right. way. So, how are you helping this young generation of girls? Right. Right. Impressionable, you know? right? Yes. Through, through our network, through Raising Confident Girls, we're talking to mothers so that the mothers talk to the girls. I actually wrote a blog post recently about the pressures of social media, and I said to them that not everything is what you see because, you know... But they don't believe They you. don't believe it, but it's just those type of things. And I even sent that message to my daughter, too, just in case. But it's just knowing that social media is a snapshot of our best mm -hmm. version of ourselves. Right. Just yeah. like you would come into my house and see an album. If you saw my album, you'd see you all lovely see pictures. Crying. You wouldn't see you me crying. See and that is, crying how, that is what social media is, yes. you know? So it's just having... And are they receptive to this reality? Because, you see, it is one thing for you to say it. It's another thing for them... For them to actually for believe the, For them to believe it. Because yes. I believe that you know, sometimes it's looking like okay, I need to experience it first right. before I can believe what yes. what she's saying. Yes. You know, so do you think they're receptive and is it working? Well, that method telling, that you're yes. talking about? I believe so, but I believe that we still have to go back to the roots of telling our daughters that inner confidence is the thing. And that's what raising confidence is about. It's not about the flashy you know, social so walk us or through. Materials. You have you have workshops. You have we have work constant. We have constant communication on on Facebook. On it's very yeah. intentional. So on Mondays we have motivational Mondays. We have parenting Wednesdays. So and it does. Talking. So you get feedback. Yeah. People oh, yes, come it's back very to you. Interactive. Okay. It's so my question is: You yeah. said you're very intentional on Facebook. Yes. Well, the age um, catchment age for right. age group is a bit restrictive. So that's so why we have how? conferences outside of okay. Facebook. So last year we had. So, so yeah. the the so what about the twenty six thousand um, people you yeah. have? Are they the mothers? The, the mothers, aunties? yes. The okay. mothers, the aunties, anybody that's involved. Okay. We, it's a sisterhood, so it's females okay. only. So yes, but it's all women that are involved in raising the child. So, it so doesn't you have advise to be, a lot of parents. There's a lot of advising. Of yes. Okay. So people ask questions, and all our members get involved in responding to certain questions. And your members, yeah. a lot of them are professionals, professionals that can handle the situation. Yes, and sometimes That's we amazing. even have to go to psychologists, like, you know, for example, if a child has been abused, yeah. or sometimes a mother will write in and ask everybody, what can I do? So it's very... Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for, for sharing that light for us. Yeah. And um, we, say, we say congratulations again, because um, it's, it's a good really, initiative. It's a good initiative, yeah. and we're yeah. hoping that we can also have very, very, it can go bigger yes. and you know impact more because the truth is this generation they're, they're highly impressionable and we need are. to actually start to 
change and intervene. Done, yeah, and because if you think and about change. it, we didn't grow up with social yeah. media, did we? You know, yeah. there was no different. There was no, that's the difference, that's the difference with us. Yeah. 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 So there's Absolutely. more pressure for them. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of and pressure. And for us as parents. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we discuss with Taiwa Kilami next after this break. Please stay with us.